Hey everyone, it's Gabriella. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing like a little soft type of glam with the eyes, not too defined of a winged liner. And then I'll be having a bold lip. So if you would like to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. So I did just go ahead and skip through doing my eyebrows since you guys have seen me do that a couple times. I'm gonna go in with Lullaby from Kylie Cosmetics, the Nice Palette. I'm gonna go in with this Crease and Smudge Brush by Royal and Lang Nickel, the Crease End. I'm putting that in the crease and outer V. Really working this Lullaby color into the crease. It's going to be my transition shade. I know it looks really light right now, but it's gonna be okay. Next, taking the Shani Taper Blender eyeshadow brush and it's EB004. And I love this one because it's kind of got like a pointed tip. And going in with Ginger Snap from that same nice palette from Kylie Cosmetics. So I'm just really working this in the crease and the outer V. Just windshield wiper motions and little circles. Feathering out the ends. Blending those two colors together, Lullaby and Ginger Snap. Gonna pick up a little more Ginger Snap on my brush. And I'm going to take this Dome Blender Eyeshadow Brush by Shani, and I'm going to take Macaroon in that same palette. And I am just blending this in all over the lid. Next, I'll be going in with this Royal and Lane Nickel Crease and Smudge Brush, the crease end. And just really blending this out. The other eye, I'll be taking my Dome Blender Eyeshadow Brush by Shani and going in with Macaroon. And I'm gonna be putting that all over the lid. Just blending everything together so it looks seamless. Once we do our concealer and foundation, we will be cleaning up that all up. Just gonna add a little more back over to this side. And then I'll be going in with the Shani Pointed Smudger Eyeshadow Brush. Taking Dark Cider from that same palette. Focus this in my crease area. Just blending all the colors together. And then blending upwards. And I'm barely putting any pressure at all. Then taking that Royal and Lang Nickel Crease and Smudge Brush and going in with Santa Baby to blend that all together. You guys know what I'm just realizing? I forgot to prime my eyes. Well, that sucks. No wonder it's not coming out so pigmented like always. Back in with that pointer smudge brush and taking hot cider. And just really focusing in the crease. I just like to add some, blend it out, add some, blend it out. Back again with that Royal Lane Nickel Crease and Smudge and blending that out. Not adding any extra product, just taking whatever product is left over on the brush and really blending. Taking whatever is left over on that brush and blending this all together. 
Now, if you prime your eyes, your eyeshadow will probably be way more pigmented than how mine is right now because I did forget to prime my eyes. Just really blending this out. That dark color, the hot cider that we put in there and that outer V. I'm going back in with Macaroon. And I'm just gonna take my finger to do this step. Because I didn't add eyeshadow primer, my eyeshadow's not sticking the best right now. Next, I'm going to be moving on to my foundation and concealer because I like to do that step before I move on and finish my eyes. Just because I like to see how my look is going to be once the face and everything is fully complete. So I like to shake up my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 foundation and I'm in the shade Natural and that's 02. I feel like this foundation is a little too dark for me, but once I add my powder, it does even out. But yesterday, my boyfriend was saying that it looks totally fine when I was adding it. I was asking him, and he said it matches. So, so you guys tell me if my foundation matches my neck. Next, I like to go in with this one heck of a blot primer and prime my face. It's out of that one heck of a blot, and I really like it, so I think I'm going to go ahead and go buy another one. I did buy that at Target. And the Nice palette that I'm using, I purchased off of Kylie Cosmetics. I'm sure you guys all figured that one out. So I'm going to take my Angled Ombre Kabuki Foundation Brush. And it's got a little angle like so. I just like to put a couple squirts on my face just because this foundation is very, very creamy. You really don't need that much because a little bit of product goes a long way. And just doing this step very carefully. I'm going to start with that and see how that looks first. And just really pressing this into my skin. Blending this into the hairline. I like to squeeze my brush like this when I'm going down the middle of my eyebrows. So I'll take just a little bit right here, right here, and right here. Just a little bit because it is so creamy. I'm just taking my time, not even rushing at all doing this part just because it's very important step. And then going in with my damp beauty sponge and blending that all out. Taking off any extra that's on there. And I'm not going to touch those ends. I'm just kind of like cleaning very softly around it where I got too much out. Now I'm going in with the Milani Retouch and Erase Lightening Concealer. I like to do all of this steps because while I am finishing my wing, I can kind of let that this all like dry and set into my face while I do my liner. And I'm really not trying to touch this area right here, so I'm just going to kind of avoid placing anything right there. Around my nose, because I get red right there. And again, avoiding that area. Next, I'll take a little bit of my MAC Prep and Prime highlighter. This is just to brighten up under my eye.
Next I'll go in with this Royal Lane Nickel Crease and Smudge Brush with the crease end. Blend out the edges in the outer V. Just like that. Next I'll be setting my face with this MAC Studio Fix and I am in the shade NC15. And I like to take my Shani Round Small, it's a powder foundation brush, but I like to use it for my powder. And I love this powder so much. I love MAC in general so much, I just love their products. been wanting to get my hands on some Fix Plus Prep and Prime. I got the highlighter because I just really wanted to try brightening up underneath my eyes because of those dark circles and it really does help. And take that same crease brush, the rolling nickel, and just very lightly blend this out right here. And I'll be taking my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and using this Real Techniques contour brush and just contouring my face. I'm just really blending it out. Then taking this line stiletto by Maybelline and lining my eyes, doing a winged eyeliner. I like to make a line around my eyes and then two lines out on the side and connect it. And then if it, I need to make it thicker or even them out, I can do that. That's why I try to make it as thin as possible right now so that if I have to thicken it up later, I can adjust it. And just when I put it back in there, I always give it a little shake. And I'll do this eye first because it's always the hardest. filled it in now and I'm gonna let that dry before I go on and do the other one because it will mess up if I move on and I'm just looking down so that if I look up it will leave a black mark up there so just looking down and just kind of fanning it with my hand And this one is a little more up, so I'll just adjust this one. You go in with this MAC blush and it's called Mocha. It's basically almost gone for me. But I really love the shade and I take it on my e.l.f. stippling brush. I just put this on the apples of my cheeks. Just 
Just very light pressure. I'm going in back with that contour brush and just blending this out. And lastly for the eyes, I'll be going in with this NYC Big Bold Curl Mascara. which was macaroon, and I'll take my pinky finger and I'll just get a little bit of product on there and kind of just putting it all over the lid. And then I'll just do the same thing to the other eye so that they're even. Just be really careful with the liner that you don't get any of that eyeshadow on the liner because it will show up. Just like that. And then I'll just go back in with this curl mascara and just adding another layer to my lashes after they're like kind of dry, not completely dry. But just like letting that product sit for a second. And then I'll go back in with my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and kind of just add a little bit more to my contours of my cheeks. Just blending it. Then I will take the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner and then I'll apply this on my waterline. And then I'll take that Royal and Langnickel Crease and Smudge Brush with the smudge end. And I'm going to take that nice palette and get Macaroon. And then I'll be taking the Royal and Lane Nickel Eyeshader Brush. And I'll take Jack Frost right here. And I'm gonna highlight my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes. This color is really pretty because it looks white, but it's like golden. Then I'll go on with this Royal and Langnickel Crease and Smudge Brush, the crease end, and without any product on it. And I'll be taking that same Jack Frost and very lightly kind of highlighting my cheekbones. Very lightly. And then I'll be taking this Kylie Cosmetics Mini Velvet Liquid Lipstick, and it is in the shade Sprinkle. It's from her mini birthday collection. Mini, mini kit, mini velvet kit birthday collection. And that is the lips. So 
this is the look that I did for the day. And this is a look that I like to do when I'm just going to kind of be around the house, just hanging out. Just a soft glam. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys would like me to start leaving in the description bar down below all the products that I used in order of the name and the shade of what they are, just let me know and I will leave down in the description bar of what I use in order. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel.